What's up, it's Pep. I'm sitting here with the man, Slick. If you don't know who this is, you guys is lost. <laughs> For real. Back in high school, like there were like a few people that um, whose work I used to love, like the graffiti and stuff, and Slick's was the one. I mean, th this had to be, well, like it was, it was over like 20, like 21, 22 years ago, and I just remember your pieces. Oh, thanks. Like way, way back. So, uh, when did you first get into it? Graph? Yeah, yeah. Like doing graffiti. Um, it probably started because uh, I used to b-boy back in oh, the day. okay. Nice. I used to pop and lock, even before breaking. And, um... Man, so that's taking away. Yeah. This yeah, is when yeah. I was like, this is like maybe junior high. And then when I saw Graph associated with with what we were into, the dancing, I kind of pulled towards the, the art side. Because I was always mm -hmm. an artist. I loved yeah. art, you know? Um, and not to mention, I couldn't I couldn't b-boy for the life of me, you know? <laughs> I, I mean, the guys in my crew were badass, but like me, like yeah. especially when it came to power moves and shit like that, I couldn't hang, you know? Um, so I gravitated toward the, the art, you know? Java's been my shit, you know? Let's go. Um, this is back in Hawaii from my, my crew bomb squad. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Hawaii. So they were putting it down like that yeah. back then? So people trip that when I say we had a b-boy scene in Hawaii, but it, it's, it's not that far-fetched. I mean, you think about it, there's a lot of military uh, presence in Hawaii. True. So we used to catch, like, go to the bases to hear, like, the dope music or, you know, like, a lot of military guys from, like, the East Coast would be stationed out in Hawaii. Oh. So that's that's the that's kind of connection, it, you know, connection. to Hawaii. And the thing about uh, local boys in Hawaii, like, whatever we did or got, like, a little taste of, like, we'd, we'd become pro at it, like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's all we did, like, if, if, if it was graph or if it was b-boy or mm. whatever it was, we just took it and just, and just and just honed in on that, you know? And then, first of in the beginning, it probably looks like a lot of shit that you see from the East Coast, you know? Like a lot of our early work, all the guys we used to admire or jock, you know? Yeah, yeah. But then after a while, doing it so much, you start to develop your own styles and things like that. I never knew there was a scene yeah, out there yeah. like that. And uh, what's crazy is that I, I think it was like in maybe 87, maybe I moved out here and it was actually, I made a deal with my family that I was going to stop doing graffiti <laughs> and go to, I was going to wow. go to art school and um, make a career in like commercial art, you know, and you know, I used to jock those guys that do that, uh, that, um, that super like photorealistic illustration mm -hmm. with airbrush and all that, yeah. you know. So I dabbled in airbrush and all that, but then when I went to school out here at Otis, um, it was funny, I was right across the street from MacArthur Park, and that's where I met my crew out here, okay. um, Kill to Succeed, and um, I just saw what they were doing, and it, it just, just it got me, and I was like, yeah. what school, you know? Like, <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, so it just, yeah. Yeah. so oh. it was like kind of like a rebirth in my career you know like yeah like there was a piece like it was one of my favorites what you did because it was just huge it's like real big it was off of I still can't remember that street but it's in Santa Monica off of Colorado and the Synergy building right Cloverfield yeah Cloverfield Cloverfield that's where it was yeah. like how long did that take because that thing was up there for yeah that one actually two. took a minute I guess uh, Dan actually got the gig I believe from Synergy to do the wall and then he brought in a bunch of us like Sev and yeah. like Risky. And Sub Sev, Sub Risk. <laughs> Sub <up>, guys. <laughs> so Risky actually called, gave me the calls like hey you want to get up on this wall? It was actually uh, on some Huckleberry Finn shit or what is it Tom Sawyer shit where he's, yeah. it was his gig but we all ended up painting it. You know? <laughs> Well, he That's got funny. paid, you know, yeah, yeah. but um, it's funny because it's still running today, you know, which is, which is ludicrous, like right? like 90, 91? Yeah. Well, so like 91. And, dude, that's, and that's actually where that's I met Dan. Time. That's 20 years. Yeah. And then uh, we were wow. doing that company fucked, you know, because me and Dan. Uh, Everybody wanted that yeah. stuff when uh -huh. that came out. I remember <laughs> that. Everybody liked that. But some, some kids couldn't wear it home. Right. Because of their parents and stuff. But everybody just wanted to. Yeah. Yeah. 
I remember that. Because back then, the word fuck was just so, like, edge, you know? Now it's passe, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's like, why wear a fuck shirt when, you know, you can wear something that says fuck on it? Like, <laughs> it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, uh, now yeah. anything goes, you know? So, I remember those. But he's you know. still doing his thing, you know, I think. It's cool. You know, trying That's to bring cool. it back, you know? Uh, when you were coming up, um, like, who were some of the artists you look, looked up to? Like, um, with graph, doing graph. Out here? Damn. Yeah. There was a gang, you know? Like, I really respected the guys I rolled with. Of course, my crew, K2S. But um, I ended up actually painting a lot back then with my boy um, Green mm -hmm. and Dream. Wow. Charlie, you know, porn, DTK crew, you know? Um, but they, they were like, they, as far as me jocking what was out there, I mean, I kind of gravitated back then uh, a lot towards character kind of stuff, you know? And even some of the stuff like uh, the KSN cats were doing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some of that shit. Like, I think in particular it was, I think it was behind the newsstand on Melrose. You remember the newsstand? And KSN destroyed that wall. And uh, I think maybe yep. it was yep. Re Rev or Realm or one of those wow, cats that did so some, like, you know, they did some <laughs> characters or something like and I was studying the way they painted it, and it just got me open. And since in Hawaii, I was airbrushing t-shirts anyway, so that kind of came into play with what I got known for, my paint style, like this airbrush kind of technique. Um, I never got known for the, the b-boy thing. I mm -hmm. just, that wasn't my thing, you know? And I just painted what I felt like it, you know? I remember, um, like, your eyeballs, what you would make. You know, those were my favorite. <laughs> that just stayed in my mind because no one did it yeah. like that. You know, so I thought it was just logical because cool. my name was S L I C K instead of and I seemed like such a boring letter to yeah. paint. So, so I'm you like, put an eyeball, put an eyeball in you know. Yeah. So and I just, you know, it had an impact yeah. on us, like uh, for sure, because I could never really draw yeah. and everything. So uh, what I would do is I read. Um, just like like find graffiti or guys who are doing it, and I remember Risk, mm -hmm. um, you, and even Seb, Seb yeah. had like some, and I would just try to copy it on these little pieces of paper because I couldn't afford paint yeah. to, to go out and do it. So, but I just said I'm not an artist, so I just copy it. You know? <laughs> but yeah, yeah, Seb was sick with it too. I think because a big piece in Venice, like I way think back in the eighties, because. When I first met Dan, I didn't realize like his partner Seb was doing a lot of his dope like burners and shit like that. He was right? young. Like, yeah. He was a young kid. Yeah. Young kid back then, yeah. He actually did my Pep Star logo. Yeah? Yeah, sure did. Like that a while back. Dope, dope. Yeah, last time I saw Seb was um, I was driving and he was with his girl with Subway. And he got that five dollar deal. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it was cool. So what's so what's next?